Hey, what's up guys? Josh Studios here coming at you with a tutorial on a technique that when I first started doing, I feel like really took my animations to the next level. And what this is known as is masking. Basically what it lets you do is take an object and make it appear like it's floating in the air for a single frame. So naturally this opens up a whole new group of possibilities like you could have a guy uh, throw something or jump or fly all kinds of stuff that you can do with this technique I got a request to do this by a couple people after I uploaded a little test video which I'm gonna show you right now so you can get a better idea of what I'm talking about Now obviously that would have been next to impossible to make without some sort of post-production editing in place. So here is what the original footage actually looked like. Not nearly as impressive, right? So basically what you're going to do in order to accomplish this is, it does take some in-camera work, you will take your original image all right with the object that you want floating being supported here I have it being supported by a few skinnier blocks and then after this image you will take another with this completely removed like so it's very important that you don't move um, really at all your camera from these two frames so that you can get a clean mask. So basically you'll be taking part of this picture and putting it over this image so that this can appear like it's floating. I'll be showing you guys how to do this in Sony Vegas Pro, but if you have any sort of editing program for video that can handle layers, then you should be able to follow along just fine as long as you know how to use those tools. If you don't have a program like that, you can go the image editing program route. I have made some tutorials of that before. There's some links right here. However, I would not recommend this route if you have an editing program because it's much more time consuming. So yeah, you, you can click on one of those or just stay here. All right, hopping into our editing program, we're gonna want to import all of our images and situate them however we like. If you're in Vegas and you want a nice clean frame rate, you can go up to Options, Preferences, Editing, New Still Image Length, and I have mine as 0.066, which is 15 frames a second. That seems pretty good to me, and then you can just click Apply, OK, you're good there. And then you want your project settings for frame rate to be exactly the same as what you have. So you can select that here. I'm at 15 once again. And do again, apply, OK. Also, you'll want your playback so that it is fluid and you can watch your video quite clearly. Don't want any choppiness. For me, that's about uh, half quality. So I'm going to keep it here at half and I've got pretty clean playback going on. Insert a layer above by right clicking, insert video track or the equivalent in your program. Hop along until you find where you'll need your first mask. For me it's right here. And you can put your masking image above that. Make it as long as you will need for all the masked images. Now, you're going to need to mask this image. And to do this in Vegas, you can go into the Event Pan Crop window by clicking this. Go down to Masking. This is the masking track. Click the box for masking. Go to Anchor Creation Tool. Make sure this is four-way lines, otherwise you'll only be able to move your masking points one direction and make a box. You can click on the normal edit tool and select one point at a time 
to move it so it, whoops, if you make a mistake, on control Z will undo. Now just draw about where you want this so that it masks out everything. There we go, want a nice clean mask. Once it's looking pretty good in the preview window, go to the next frame and adjust so that it looks about right and you can just edit each individual frame this way until you have reached the very end. I'm going to cut until I have all these masked images and then we'll continue from there. Here we are in the future with all of our images masked. I think it looks pretty good right there. However, there is one particular thing I want to fix about this animation, and that being that in order to mask it, I had to get rid of the shadow right here. So I'm gonna add one of those back in, inserting a new video track, that's right click there, and then generating a black solid layer. Uh, make it about that long and then go into the event pan crop window yet again starting at the first frame mask it this time I'm gonna be using this oval tool right here make a nice little oval actually gonna turn off this layer so I can match this up with the original shadow all right looks pretty good about there good and now I'm going to keyframe it with each individual frame don't have to be as precise as I was on that other stuff because it basically stays in the same spot for a lot of this whenever you want a new keyframe and where to just copy the last you can just do a plus and have it go down to about there All right, and add in another plus, and have it get about there. Checking this out. Ah, uh, looks like it's getting a little ahead of it there. And that looks pretty legit, except for the fact that nobody's gonna buy this shadow right there because that looks awful. So to fix it, can drag down the opacity and add a light blur on top and I would buy that right there that's pretty good I think and that's really all there is to it masking in Vegas or how to make Legos float and fly and do whatever you want in the air if you enjoyed this video please subscribe or like you know if you got any questions I'll be more than happy to answer those in the comment below but thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time.